Hello and welcome back everybody to another episode of Material Energy for Hypercubed. Last episode we set up this awesome farm and I was AFK overnight. But unfortunately I got kicked out of the server, it closed on me for some reason, the server didn't crash, I just lost connection. And I think it was quite early, so it sucked, but um, I got some feeling of how we're doing with the numbers. Okay, let me show you real quick. Right now we have zero wheat and we have about a thousand, eleven hundred cocoa beans now. When I was testing earlier, I put in every one of these sprinklers here, um, 16 bone meal. Because I don't have much bone meal, but I put in 16 in each. And then I noticed that the cocoa beans were slowly um, going down. And that tells me that, A, well, we can produce wheat a lot faster, and you can really tell a difference when you put bone meal into these sprinklers. You constantly see wheat growing left and right in these fields. And the cocoa beans, we can easily produce faster. The wheat is what's the problem, because, well, this, I can just go another level. These need a lot of room. And, well, I want to boost this up first with bone meal. Uh, you guys can see over here, there is uh, one with 10,000 seeds already. And this one has 2300. I think that here I'm gonna take this cash out and simply put a trash can here um, and just pump the, the seeds out of this one into the trash can because I don't know what we're ever gonna need these seeds for. I looked through them. We can make sugar out of it but meh there's not really anything else of interest. And you guys can also tell I added another crafter. Um, now I think uh, Dan Golsig mentioned it um, in the comments that why didn't I go with Steve's factory manager and he's absolutely right. We will eventually change this over to Steve's factory manager because it doesn't use any power and we can have that then make everything down up to whatever, six tuple or something. But for now, I don't want to change this out because I want to get this boosted first. Um, and one more thing I wanted to show you guys and this is more of a correction. Let me get one cookie out. Last time, by mistake, um, I forgot now who who um, told me that I did that by mistake. Let me just check real quick. I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, Sebastian Mish told me that. Um, that I put a compressed cookie in here when I did the test with the bread instead of a regular cookie. And he also mentioned, and I didn't know about that, when you have the actual machine open, check it out. Right now it doesn't tell me anything, but when you have the generator open and you hover over something, it shows you how much RF this makes. So a regular cookie only makes 1448. And I believe the compressed cookie was 17,000, something like that. If I'm, I, something much higher. So the actual cookie itself doesn't give us much. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that I, you know, make a correction here to show you. Um, so now how are we gonna get bone meal i was thinking of you know powered spawner um with skeleton but we have never gotten a skeleton spawner so i don't know um how we can make it i think there's a way of capture a soul from a skeleton also but i think we're just gonna set up a good old-fashioned uh, cursed earth farm up here now many many weeks ago i don't remember who said it uh, mentioned don't make a cursed earth farm because that doesn't count to the mob cap underneath it well, the problem is that if I don't make it a cursed earth farm, then I need to be in range for it to run. Um, otherwise, mobs won't spawn. And that's why we're going to go with a cursed earth farm. And I did a lot of planning here, the setting up. I haven't built it yet, but the layout and so on. And I just want to give you a quick rundown of what I want to do. Um, I did try cursed earth down here in the mushroom biome because I wanted to know if mobs can still spawn on cursed earth even in a biome where they can't and they cannot. I didn't get any mobs to spawn on Cursed Earth. And then I moved it up here because this is a plains biome when you check. We're in the plains, so mobs will spawn up here. That's why you also see torches wherever there was red X's. So how it's going to work is there's going to be five diamond spikes here. I'm going to go with diamond because we also then have a chance to get rare drops, I believe, and also XP. And then we're going to have a vacuum hopper with a chest in the beginning. And then we'll figure out, I want to get this going first for a while to see what drops we're getting. And then, you know, filter out the bones and then actually send the bones down there. 
somewhere uh, into a pulverizer because you get then six bone meal per bone instead of just three or four um, and then from that you know send it via nodes to all these sprinklers there's something I gotta test here in a minute first I bring a note yes okay I want to test first if I can actually pump them into that why don't we do this first before I continue here and maybe I can't even get this in here let's try this there's none in here okay let me use these blocks I'm gonna break this crop probably no yes I did sorry about that too bad are you gonna fix this okay good and have the seed yeah all right let's put a note down here i just want to see if this can even pump into that and let's put the bone meal in here yes it can very cool so that works and i know we can set it up that way that that's good because it you know if we set all this up and then i can't get it in the sprinklers that would have sucked all right let's continue with this how this is going to work is underneath here sometimes you see that i i have blocks instead of the glass and around the back for example there is none and i just wanted to minimize on these blocks as much as i can because i want to make sure that when this is closed off that there's no light on the inside to get maximum spawn and because the mobs will get pushed down here into this channel let me just show you guys how this is gonna work use this water bucket and there's going to be a water source down here that's going to push all the mobs over here and there's going to be five diamond spikes and water coming from over here the mobs will spawn up here on a five wide and this is 21 long all cursed earth and i went with only five wide because i tested these open block fans and when you turn them on you get pushed somewhat steady to about five blocks after five blocks the sixth the seventh are very slow and I just want to get these mobs into the channel, so I'd rather make it wider than this way. It doesn't matter. As long as we got a lot of spawning room, that's that's all we need. I'm going to take this out for a second so it doesn't bother me when I need to jump in there. And we're going to use these open block fans. They're super cheap to make. Um, just an iron bar, an iron ingot, and any slab. And then back here, we're going to have all these levers. And, you know, I just turned them on, and now you see the fan spinning and it's going to push us and then we're going to fall down here i think it you know i don't remember that we were able to push against these fans that easily i remember that used to be quite hard so i wonder if that was changed that players can somewhat move easier but mobs will get pushed or if it has something to do with this uh, redstone signal strength i don't know but we got to start somewhere so let's set this up so what i'm going to do now is just fill the back up pull up the walls with these blocks um and then make a couple of more of these um open blo open block fans um all the way down so then i'm gonna need what did i say 21 19 i need to make 12 more and set them all up here and then i'm actually going to be coming over like this so mobs cannot spawn on here so this is actually the back wall so you know there's nothing here that they can jump on and this is kind of driving me nuts it's so hard to place these guys straight i don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not um check it out it looks like he's straight but as soon as you turn just a little bit you see it turns um i don't know how that's gonna affect the whole uh well wind generation here but i hope i can figure it out all right and then when I'm about to put it together, I'll tune back in. And I think that I'm ready to finish this. Um, there's a redstone lamp on the side here, and it needed four on the top. And another one on the other side, and that way, even if it has cursed earth, uh, when I turn these on, it nothing will spawn on the inside. So I left this one open so I can still jump up here. How much do we have of this? Nine. Okay. This will spread in the dark, so in the beginning this farm will be very slow, and let's just put one every few blocks here. Now I want to keep a few on me. I don't want to use them all. Uh, I pick it up. I don't know. Just in case something goes terribly wrong, um, because I don't know how we can make another 
cursed earth. And then this should be fine right here. I had to make four more of these diamond spikes right here. Um, they're a little pricey, but we had the three, we had one diamond spike from a reward, and we also had three gold spikes. So I used those, and I have a bunch of diamonds now after spending a an hour and a half or so in the vanilla mining age yesterday after i was done recording um so i actually had 22 iron ore and when i used that pick here with that um fortune three i got 50 52 diamonds out of the 22 ores so that was really nice okay so mobs fall down either they're directly onto the spikes or should get pushed over um i could probably do this with only one spike but i remember mobs not being easily able to occupy the same spot i'm hoping you know if one gets pushed in here and another one comes that that first one might get pushed onto the second one and so on so i can take this torch off now and close this off so this x is gone i only have these left which are going to be gone once i put this glass on and this we got from um what was that one the rotunda when i was taking down the is it a rotunda or the biosphere whatever we took down those two tanks so let's um wire this up here i figured the vacuum hopper is gonna be right there uh right here so i'm gonna put a chest there and a drum here for the xp and then if i put this vacuum hopper right there um, let me turn off any eye so it's easier to see. I can turn over here and oh, actually the other way. This one over here is going to be items. Yep. And this here, we're going to turn to the left and we're going to make this XP. So the XP should go in here and the items in there. And well, let's close this off and see first if any of this works. I don't see why it shouldn't, but hey, you never know. Come on, let me get up there. All right, so it's still brightest day in there. Um, and I guess let's go around and turn off this light, right? Yep, now I got the first red X's in there. Turn this, this. I haven't turned on the fans yet. I want to give it a second. Right there. Yep, and instantly got a spawn, and the cursed earth you guys can see in there is already spreading. And by the way, we can still walk in here because of this glass. But he doesn't see me yet. Uh, he's probably going to see me any second. How you doing, sir? Yeah. Fall down? Alright. Wow, he died fast. Holy shnikes. Oh, I got to turn off my, my magnet for this, don't I? When I get up here. Let's turn it to utility mode for now. And now, are you kidding me? Is this really not able to suck it through the glass? Oh. Hmm, that means, are we still getting full red X's in there? Yes, we are. Okay. Well, I guess there's no lights out here anyway. This just looks bright. So we got some TNT so far from the creeper. All right, let's turn on the fans. And now everything should get... I know I could run a red sign wire, but how many times am I going to turn these on and off? I don't think very often at all. And I'm okay with doing it this way. All right, are you guys getting blown down? Ay, 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 friggin' spiders. I didn't think of those. Oh, that sucks. Hmm, what? We're getting liquid XP. <laughs> is this really having issues here? Sucking this up? My magnet is off. I don't have anything else magnetizing. And there's a first phone. Cool. Oh, they get pushed down fast. Well, um, hmm, 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 hmm. it sucks, guys. <laughs> ah, I don't know what I'm gonna do about these spiders. All right, I 
can't handle these spiders, so what I simply did is make them stop spawning um, by adding these slabs every second block. A spider needs a 2x2 two two area to spawn, and when you, you know, just put a slab down or something, mobs don't spawn. Now, of course, this is a very decreased spawn now. This is 20 less blocks, which worries me a little bit. But I want to get this going because I could always just extend this another 20 blocks in this direction or something. This is very cheap to build. Um, because I had uh, dirt up here first, so a full block. But then the fans got mobs stuck. They, they never got pushed by um, around them or anything. And over these blocks, mobs just flow right over them, these half, half slabs. Because just like us, you know, we just we just get pushed on top of them. You don't need to jump. So that works good. And down here I switched to conveyor belts instead of the water because mobs got stuck in the corners here during my testing. And in the back I changed something right here. We have one switch now for all the lights. I simply ran the redstone up here with one repeater and then even down on this side. All you gotta do is power this block because the lamp is just underneath here so that gets turned off too. And back here I made a bunch of repeaters. Switch in the middle so I can turn the fans on and off with one switch. Because during this testing here, it lasts 45 minutes to an hour. You know, I had to turn this on and off so many times to get boring. I know I just said I, I don't care if I need to flip these levers. If it's a one-time thing, no problem. A hundred times, big problem. <laughs> All right, and this is the drops I've gotten so far. And I brought some caches and so on. And what I am going to sort out now is... I want to keep bones. I want to keep string. This cobweb here I got by killing the spider by hand. I'm gonna just keep it so we have a cobweb. Whoops, I said I wanna keep the spi spider, but we're not getting any more because we don't have any more spiders. I wanna keep the gunpowder. I wanna keep the TNT, definitely. Uh, well, these don't go in here, they're from my bags. I do would like to keep potions. Because we could possibly make a potion generator or something. You know what? I could just make filing cabinets. Make a filing cabinet for this. Let's... Don't I even have one, maybe? Let's see. Filing cabinet. No, let's make a filing cabinet. They're very easy to make. Bam. Let's take one of those for the potions. Alright, let's set this up right here. We're gonna go this way. I'm gonna go behind. Yeah. That sounds good. Um, let's put the first cache right there. And this is gonna be our bones. All right? And I'm shift right clicking to lock them as I place them. The second one we're gonna keep is the gunpowder. Third one we're gonna keep is the TNT. Oops, come on. And. We're also keeping ender pearls. A lot of these uh, endermen teleport out, but uh, one of them at least got killed so far. So, hey, free ender pearls. Definitely want to keep the um, glowstone and the redstone and the potions. Don't care about any of these arrows. Let's collect arrows. Let's collect arrows. So, that is four. That's how many more caches I have. Actually, the potion is the fighting cabinet. Don't care about any of the armor. Hmm. Don't care about potatoes or carrots. I don't care about any of the heads. Um. Actually, three ninety-seven. No, they stack, so they cannot go into a fighting cabinet. We've gotten so many of these heads by just killing. So, I, I think we're gonna be good. Let's just collect this, and if there's something later on that I feel like, hey, it would be nice to have this or that. Then we can always change it around. But so glowstone, redstone, and arrows. And in this guy, I'm gonna put one potion. So it knows about it, and then we put the trash can back here. And now all we gotta do is run. Um yeah, let's come from the front here with the node. Like this. And bada bing, bada bang. Let's give this six speed upgrades. And let's see if it does it right. 
Uh, only one potion so far. Um, where is my... I call it a calculator. Right, only one, one, one. Alright, where are you sending all my stuff? There's the bones. Alright, scare me a little, will you? There's the gunpowder. There's the arrows. We didn't have more than one of the other ones. Let's see when it's... I can hardly click this. And I moved this up one, by the way, yeah. Because when it was back here, even with the hole open, a lot of items got stuck here against the glass. It's kind of weird how that works. Whoa. I do want to keep the red hearts. Oh yeah, I do want to keep those. So we're going to have to move that over one over here. This whole spiel. Come on, give me another pipe. Put... Yes. Put the red heart in there and lock it. Put the filing cabinet again. And the trash can. Alright, cool. So it puts those in there. And let's turn it on. Lights and action. You guys can see this, and I'm gonna let this run for a while and then, you know, see how we're doing on the bones and uh, start trying to figure out how we get it over there. We do have quite a lot of mobs spawn. It's not like, you know, it's it's dead in there, but it's definitely, it could be more. My magnet is off. We do get a lot of zombies. You see those just fly out here, they're like getting catapulted. All right, let's check here. We got 64 bones now. I'll be back in about 20 minutes real life and see how many bones we've got until then. I'm going to just let this run. BRB. All right, it's been a little bit over 15 minutes now. And we got 184 bones. So a couple of them were from before, from the testing phase. But that is pretty good. I think that, you know, this is time six. So that would be... A lot. <laughs> um, that that is a lot. That is over fourteen stacks, and we got two, four, six, eight of the sprinklers. And these sprinklers don't need; they don't use the bone meal that quick. It actually takes, if I would have to guess, probably close to a minute. It it chews on one bone meal. All right. So, but before we wire this up. Um, to bring these uh, bones down here, I want to set up the area down here real quick. And I figured that we're going to keep this somewhat central. Um, so we can come up. Uh, I, I removed this cache, by the way, and put a trash can here now. So seats just get trashed, and we have 10,000 seats. Like I said, I don't ever see any reason to keep this. I can actually take this with me. We don't need this here anymore. Get it out of the way. Now, where am I going to come up with this transfer pipe? Um, probably, let's see, where would be a good spot? There's no room anywhere here. Here? What's underneath me? Yeah, so here is where we're going to come with the transfer pipe that then brings the bone meal up. Let's just place this here so we know where it goes. And where is this? Where is it? It's right here. Okay, that, that works out well. I, I don't mind. So let's put... Here is going to be the cache that holds the bone meal. So the pulverizer is going to go right here. I made one, by the way. I mean, I we have made a few thermal expansion machines now. It's no different. It just takes... You guys have made plenty of them, I think. Um, I don't need to show that now. And it's not upgraded, nothing. I believe it's going to be fast enough. And output is going to be to the left. And input, we are going to have... Let's see, where are we going to come with the power? Um, oh my. Ah, brought the wrong power conduit. I'm sorry about that. Let's get the right one here. Oh, it's down here. We got so many of these anchors. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering where I got the one from the mob from, from I took the last one from the reactor. So there's one now. It had four. Um, and now we are down to one, but that's all we need. We can still get there. So let's go back up to the farm. 
and hop down so we're gonna come with this from the right let's come from the top because then we can come from behind with the bones which is gonna be coming in directly from here i don't i am not gonna have a filler like another cache here for the bones to come for now we can always add one in case i feel like we need it this is going to be a long way for the transfer pipe to go but that's fine by me so this is where this is gonna go and of course i am gonna run this down below first and then i can come up here so i don't want these to be you know inner uh secting at Oh, excuse me, aluminum or berry bush. I was in your way. Forgive me. So now we can just figure out where this is going to go. Wow, okay. Why do I have bones flying towards me? Is the magnet stronger than the hopper? Or can the hopper not keep up? Put this back in here. So I'm going to suck this out. Um... yeah underneath let's just do it that way I like that now i gotta turn on the magnet uh, i probably voided some of them but oh well and the transfer pipe we're gonna put from below come on did i get that block yes i just don't want it to get voided because well if it's something that doesn't go into the sorting system it does get voided and nothing should be able to spawn in this and we're gonna give this guy here 32 speed upgrades no actually this guy gets eight that's what i was thinking because if it finds the the pulverizer did i plug it actually in i did right oh duh i gotta connect this here <laughs> Uh, all right let's connect this guy right here like that so uh next episode by the way guys we are gonna um fully explore the next the biosphere the the nether one i know we've been doing a lot of tech and automation here for a few days now and do kind of want to um get back to exploring a little more but i really wanted to set up this um you know this cookie machine because well it's gonna take forever to compress these cookies and the longer i wait setting this up the harder it's gonna be later on so this guy's already pulverizing and yeah it's 24 30 so we get six per so this is done uh, coming down here you guys see it keeps this full so i don't think we need more than eight there it is it's full again all right so one more here which needs to be wrenched and then i'm not gonna put this note yet that's the last thing i'm gonna do because there's a couple of things we need to do now real quick first of all oops what why did this show why are these showing 64 bone meal i don't understand well okay whatever um all right now you cannot put like seeds or something in here right you're, you're not dumb like that i don't think so because i tested this early that's why i got this cobble on me because i wanted to close off eight of these nine spots so it only puts bone meal in the first but it doesn't work and so I think it you can only put in what it actually accepts. And that is something. Oh man, this is a lot of piping. But hey, let's see. We can only see if it works when we set it up. And let me set up the other three the same way I'm doing this right now. All right, all four are set up the same way. And I ran around and make sure that none of these intersections are wrenched now. I am hoping that this is not going to cause any problems. I just have to keep my eye on it. Um, now, the next thing is what I had in mind here. Before I connect this here. Um, 
I can connect it down here though. So all I gotta do is connect that one upstairs. So let's put this note right there. Wrench this again. Oops. Man, this overlay is sometimes a little pain in the butt. Okay. And this one is the one that's gonna get 32 speed upgrades. Um, now my thinking is here. I want to make sure it would be nice that these sprinklers each only hold one stack of bone meal. So if I turn this on, you know, it's not just gonna fill up one first and then the other. And I found these fertilizer that we got from a reward bag or something. And I wanted to see if I can put this in here. No, I cannot put this in here either. So I don't know if you can put anything but bone meal into these. Um, apparently, I don't know if there's maybe like industrial fertilizer or something like that. Now, nothing can get voided here. Um, let me put these bone meal down here. So I guess we just kind of have to hope that it fills up these different sprinklers somewhat evenly and if not we need to wait until it's all cut up so that's 1200 um that is what 20 stacks about 20 stacks of bone meal and each one of them can hold nine so well you know what let's just hook this up and see what happens you need to be wrenched here it goes bam i hope i didn't mess something up now I gotta wait to figure out um, which one is the one that's gonna, you know, get them first. Possibly one of the closer ones. So possibly this one hasn't gotten any yet. This guy has 64. So this guy just got a stack. This guy has over a stack. This guy has half a stack. This guy has nothing yet. All right. So I'm not sure what the logic is here. Why D3? But not the fourth one here. How about it, huh? How about it? Nothing. Let's see. Anything over here? This guy has a few. This guy has a few. Nothing. And nothing. Alright, so I just have to be patient. And I'm going to let this go for a bit. And then tune back in when either the cache down there is out of bone meal. Or all of them are full. And we'll go from there and I don't know it's kind of hard to really see this if you don't stand here looking at the field for you know five minutes without bone meal like I did and then five minutes with bone meal there's definitely a big growth improvement so let me show you here right now we have 1800 cocoa beans and no wheat so now with the bone meal if I tune back later you're gonna see that this number is gonna go down it already did but you know that could just be a coincidence but this is going to go down slowly 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 and i'm hoping to actually get it to a point that we have a surplus of wheat eventually because again i can simply add another one of these over there which is a lot easier than adding four more fields over here all right enough rambling i'll be back when i have some more stuff to show all right it's been about an hour since that last cut i was editing the video um, and a couple of changes I did is I got rid of this stupid vacuum hopper. Um, the liquid XP is full. Um, and then I had a bunch of green balls here, of course. And then what I actually did first is put a QDS next to the the XP side of the hopper. So it just voids it. Um, that's that quest delivery system. If you pipe something into that, it's like a void chest. And it also works for liquids. So that's the easiest way. But there was always stacks of stuff on the left and on the right hand side just stuck. Um, and it drove me nuts because, well, like one time it was a stack and a half of bones when I came here and turned on my magnet. And now I can even turn on my magnet and stand here and not suck anything up because I used one of the advanced item collectors. And they're just so good. Yeah, we're not getting any XP, but it doesn't matter. But of course, for that to work, I needed to change these diamond spikes and i uh, replace them with iron spikes so there's no more xp balls and we still get the drops bones of course is empty we got lots of gunpowder look at the amount we got 89 ender pearls already nine hearts and a couple potions so this up here is it's good in my in my terms i i like it it's it's good the way it is now down here is a little bit different. It's kind of crazy. Let, let me find the one. Look at this. 576 in this one. It's it's always topped off. But over here, this knucklehead has none right now. 
So, I don't know how the search priority works and stuff, but what I'm gonna do now is before I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna leave this on all night, hopefully the server won't kick me out again, is I'm gonna do things like, you know, I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna leave four stacks in here, and I'm just gonna go around and kinda trying to even it out. Um, just like this by hand. And then hopefully, you know, um, we're gonna make, well, there's already not enough for this one, but this guy has a few extra. And hopefully, you know, by tomorrow morning or something, when I get up and check this out, we have a surplus. I, I would really like to have, I think that we have a surplus of bone meal. It just is not distributed properly yet. But when I get to that point, I think this system is going to work nicely. Um, okay. Um, in next episode, we are going to make us a two new weapons. And also gonna see if we can maybe get some heart canisters. And then I want to really explore that nether sphere spatial area that we have. Because while well, it's time, we did a lot of this in the farm, but I think you guys understand why I wanted this to get off the ground. And honestly, when you when you look from up top here, I think it looks cool with all the piping and stuff. It looks like a real industrial farm, doesn't it? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And next time we get to quests and then more exploring, we're going to leave this be for a while and just see what kind of numbers we're getting up to. And that is it for tonight. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.